Welcome, beautiful person. Today we are going to learn how to draw Metatron's cube. It's a very, very ancient, very, very important um, piece in the library of what we call sacred geometry. So we're gonna start as always by making a center line. So this sheet is eight and a half. I'm gonna do four and a quarter right there, and four and a quarter right there, and I'm gonna give myself a decent center line. You don't have to do this too dark, but I want it to be dark enough so that you can see it. And then we're gonna start with a pretty small circle. We want this to fit on the page and we're going to have to do five circles in each direction. So we want a pretty small circle. Got to make sure and keep the pressure on the pointy needle end so that it doesn't pop up like I just did there. Pressure right in the center. Okay, that's the beginning, first circle. <clears throat> now we're gonna place the lead on the edge of the circle and find that center line with the needle. And we're gonna do a second circle stacked right on top. And we're going to do that again. Third circle, needle on the center point. Third circle stacked on top. Okay, so that's our first arm. I guess you could say half of the first arm. And we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. The lead on the edge of the circle. Find center point with the needle and we're going to do one down and we're going to do it one more time so we'll have five circles total All right, now we come back to the center, bottom of the center one, and we're gonna mark exactly, if we did a circle, where would that circle cross this line? We want that marked there and there. These are basically quadrants, and we're gonna do the same thing from the top. We're gonna mark exactly where that would cross and exactly where that would cross. Then we're gonna use our ruler to do a straight line from where this one would cross to the other one. And this is a background line. We don't want this too dark. That's just an axis line. I can never pick this thing up with my fingernails. And then we're going to do the opposite this way. Once again, we're going to make that a light line. This is a background. Okay, so that gives us a center line of our other arms. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is this exact same thing led to the needle at the center. And then I'm going to just check and make sure it lines up to here perfectly too. It does. So then we're going to go ahead and rock that one. Booyah. And then we're going to do that one more time. Lead. And then let the needle find that center line. 
and I'm gonna make her another one here. Right. Making sure those center points are pretty deep in there. You don't want to have to struggle to find those later. And now we're going to do the same thing here. Measure lead needle on the center line. And then I'm going to check and check. That's pretty good. These don't have to be perfect, especially your first few times. You are going to draw these over and over and over again. That's the idea behind sacred geometry is not something you draw one time for a pretty picture, but it's something you practice over and over again as a meditation. Sacred geometry is drawing meditation. Drawing Meditation, think about that, that's deep. And it's the absolute truth. Okay, and one more time. Measure from the circle, get it on the center line, and then add one more circle. All right, two more, and then all we need is lines. We're going to do the same thing here. Okay, that's not perfect. It's good enough. It's good enough. And then we're going to do it one more time. Lead. Lead to the point, and one last circle. Okay, now the key is that the center point of every one of these circles are going to be connected with lines and we're going to do this systematically so that we don't forget any first you're going to mark all your center points with your pencil so we don't have to look for them later Just make a clear mark with that pencil These can be hard to find later if you don't mark them now. Especially if your eyes are starting to go like mine. Boom. So now all we want to do is connect every one of these dots to every other dot. And to do that, we're going to do it kind of systematically like this. We're gonna do all of these parallels first, right? And then we're gonna do this. Okay, and then we're gonna do this. And these are bold lines. These are lines that are going to stay. But, there we go. But the closer that we get, the deeper we get into the shape, the fainter we're going to make certain lines. So let's go ahead and connect this one to this one. So it's going to split the whole thing. And as you can see, we're starting to make a three-dimensional shape. It's like a cube. I'm going to connect this one to this one. 
we're just getting all of these in one, but really each of these are connected. And then this one. Okay. Boom. Now it looks like we're done, right? But nope. We've got these. And it's going to be a little bit lighter. And these, a little bit lighter, not much. And then we've got these. I'm going to face a triangle here. And these. And then we've got the flip side of that, this one, to there, and this one, to there, oops, screwed that up, okay, boom, uh, looks like we're done, right, nope, we've got this one, to there. And we've got this one to there. These are getting even lighter. We've got this one to there. And we've got this one to there. this one to there and we've got this one to there and we've got this one to there and we've got that one pretty dark and this one to there <clears throat> this one to there mm -hmm. now we still on the inside here we have this to there this to there this to there This one to there. Sometimes you have to really look at it to figure it out. This one to there. This one to there. This one to there. And I think I think that's all of them. Well, you can tell us by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Okay, and then these inside ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inside, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did I miss one? Oh, there we go. There we go, missing one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that one's nine. So, boom, there we go. Metatron's Cube. Enjoy.